We're going to use a really affordable cut of meat, lamb four quarter chops, and we're going to make a lamb, potato and spinach curry. This is a fantastic meal for, for any time of the year, particularly on those colder nights. I've got three medium sized onions. Nice chunky dice on these. A little bit of oil and some butter. Now the oil is just to stop the butter from burning too fast here. I want that butter to melt down. And we're going to gently cook these onions. And while we're softening down our onions, we're going to chop some garlic, crush them down. Use a garlic crusher if you prefer, but I prefer the feel of chopping things with a knife. The lamb four quarter chop is full of flavour, so we've got to have some nice matching flavours to go with it. Lots of fragrant curry flavours. It's a really hearty stew. I'm not going to chop the ginger, I'm going to grate the ginger down. Ginger's a bit more fibrous, so not quite as easy to chop as garlic. Just don't grate your fingers. Garlic and ginger go in. And we've got a few spices to go in here. Some turmeric. Chili. Now if you don't want to put this much chili in, you don't have to. This will give you about a, a medium heat curry. If you're uh, after something a bit milder, just add a little bit less chili. Got some cumin. Coriander and paprika. Now all these flavours together are really going to make this an aromatic curry. Delicious for so many people. Just going to cook this out for a couple of minutes. Allow those spices to really open up. And as we said with the, the lamb we've left the bone on. I think it adds a bit more depth to the curry, adds a little bit more flavour, and the bone will come out nice and easy at the end. If you don't want the bone, you can take it out, or you can buy four quarter chops without the bone. So that's really fragrant now. I'm going to get our tomato in. And the water. cinnamon. Now this water is just going to help lift all the caramelised flavours off the bottom of the pan. So because we've left the bone in here, it's going to almost make its own little stock in here. So I, I'm not going to brown the meat off. But if you want to brown the meat, you certainly can. Make sure the lamb is completely covered by the stock. If you need to add a little bit more water, add a little bit more water at this stage. Gonna get the lid on, turn that down to a nice simmer. I'm going to cook that for about 30 minutes and we're going to add some potato and some chilli and then we'll cook that for about another 20 minutes and then we'll come back and finish it off. So our curry's had the potatoes and the chilli in there for about 20 minutes now. We've used nice waxy potatoes, we've gone with Dutch creams. The waxy potato just holds better during the, in the cooking process, doesn't break down as much. So spinach goes in now to finish. Stir that through. Our spinach is wilted down. A little check for seasoning. Delicious, got a lot of, lot of fragrance about it, really. A lot of depth of flavour there. Needs a good bit of salt, and then we will get ready to serve up. We've got some basmati rice that we cooked with just a little bit of turmeric. And I love serving this with papadums and a nice chutney of sorts. So we're gonna finish our lamb curry off with a little bit of yoghurt. The yoghurt's really going to add good depth of richness to this. And for a bit more fragrance, a little bit of cumin, cracked pepper. Now these flavours, this is amazing. I, I really enjoy this curry. These flavours are 
are really well thought out and well balanced. There we have a lamb potato, spinach curry, absolutely delicious.